I am an absolute fabric snob. I love looking at fabrics, I love touching fabrics, I love knowing how sustainable they are and how they wear on people's bodies. I find joy in knowing how they get made and all of the various steps that go into creating each fabric. You also might know this about me because I've created numerous videos on fabrics on this channel before. Today's video is going to be about the best fabrics you can choose to wear in summer. My reference for summer is South Africa, the Netherlands, and then Austin, Texas. Although I haven't experienced a full um, summer year in Austin, I have to admit I am a little bit afraid of what Austin weather is going to be like for the rest of the summer. But I think I know enough about fabrics in order to prepare myself as best I can for Austin summer. Linen. But not just any type of linen, specific linens, because you can get more than one type of linen. Most linen used in clothing will be lightweight, but I will really recommend focusing in on the lightweight linens and not even go as far as medium weight, except if you maybe um, want to protect your modesty and you want to wear trousers, for example, made out of linen that is maybe not completely lightweight, but more medium weight, so it's not too see-through. It'll be easy enough for air to travel through the fabric to reach your skin and then out of the garment again. Linen is extremely durable, which means it's a great piece to select for your summer wardrobe because you will be able to wear it over and over again. It won't easily get damaged. I mean, it doesn't really get more sustainable than that. Linen is also a beautiful fabric because the plant grows really quickly, the flax plant, and the entire plant gets used um, so nothing gets wasted. It's also a very short growing cycle and the plant does not require a lot of water when being grown. The fabric is highly absorbent and it dries quickly, which means if you wear it and you are sweating or perspirating, it will absorb it very quickly so you won't feel wet and sticky. Um, but they also dry very quickly so you won't be left with sweat patches um, for too long or even at all. A side of linen that not everyone enjoys is the fact that it wrinkles. I actually like that lived in um, type of look and it really shows the character of the fabric and I have such great appreciation for linen. Linen is truly a timeless fabric. So I actually want to say embrace a little bit of the wrinkles but maybe not all of it. Um, um, what I do is, as soon as it gets out of the washing machine, I really give the item a really good shake and then I will give it a quick steam or a little bit of a quick iron over it, but it doesn't have to be completely wrinkle free. I will form the little collar back into its original shape so it dries as best it can. Silk is another beautiful summer fabric. It is extremely lightweight and breathable as well. Of course, you can get different types of silks, um, most of it being woven, um, but then you can also get knitted silk. Um, I've only recently added a knitted silk piece into my wardrobe in the form of two wrap tops um, that I am really enjoying so much. Silk is non-irritating, so most people can wear it without feeling uncomfortable within the fabric. Silk is known for how well it drapes and it really looks so beautiful in so many dresses. Silk dries very quickly, so again, if you do sweat, it will absorb the sweat. We all know cotton, so I'm gonna go over this one really quickly it is very breathable but you also need to um, have a look at the weight of the fabric for example think of a denim versus a classic cotton t-shirt most of them are being made out of cotton but a denim is definitely much more rigid and is definitely not as breathable as say a cotton t-shirt so you definitely can have a look at the different weights of the fabric when choosing cottons it is also a really soft fabric and it is absorbent but it doesn't dry as quickly as say linen or then silk also if you want to make the environmentally friendly choice i would recommend buying organic cotton and not just normal cotton. One last fabric that I need to mention that is gaining a lot of popularity and for good reason is tensile. It is a semi-synthetic fabric also called a regenerated fiber um, where it's made from trees um, and the wood pulp of the trees. 
it goes through a process, a man-made process, in order to create um, a fabric that can resemble um, something like cotton, for example, or it can um, be made in a way so it resembles something more lightweight even than cotton. Tensile can also be blended with other fabrics in order to have a different look and feel. Tensile is known that it's breathable, it's lightweight, and it's soft. Let's quickly go over the things you have to avoid during the summer season. One, I will recommend not wearing things that are extremely skin tight, depending on how cool you want to be. If you have a very moderate summer, you can definitely wear all of the fabrics I've mentioned are in a skin tight type of design. Something that, that I'm wearing today, for example, I would classify this as skin tight because it's got some smocking here at the back, meaning it sits really nice and tight around my body. But this might not be ideal for the hottest of days or the most humid day. Um, although this is made out of linen, I would rather have something made out of linen but something that is not as form-fitting as this top that I'm wearing today. The second thing, I've quickly mentioned that before, is not to go for heavy weights but rather light weights. In other words, if you have a fabric and you keep it up to the light, if you can see some light coming through it, you know it's a lightweight fabric and it will also allow air to flow freely. If it's something that's heavyweight, think again of say something like a denim, it is definitely going to trap heat more easily and it's not going to be as cool as something lightweight. The third thing and a very important thing is to look out for fakes. A lot of um, fabric manufacturers and designers want to work with cheaper fabrics um, but that look like linen or silk for example because it's such sought after fabrics but then they kind of find ways to jippo the system in order to create a fabric that is not as good as say linen or silk it might look like them for a little bit but they won't wear as well they definitely won't have the same properties you always have to check for that small little label inside of each garment and check whether it is 100% linen or then a linen silk blend, a linen cotton blend. But once it is linen mixed with polyester or cotton mixed with polyester or 100% polyester imitating silk, you won't have such a great experience wearing it over the summer season or maybe even at all. And then tying into that are linings. A lining is a piece of fabric um, that only some garments have, so not all of them have this, where it is a kind of a second layer inside of the garment. Um, so sometimes a garment will have two layers of fabric and the first one that is close to your body is called a lining. The outside is the actual garment piece. In the past, linings were always made out of silk, but these days it's common to see it made out of either viscose, polyester or acetate. I would go for something like a viscose or then a silk. Silk would probably be your best choice. Um, or then something like tensile, they might even have um, some linings out of that or a cotton. But I would definitely avoid anything that is made out of a synthetic um, fabric because it's going to make you feel hot and sweaty and uncomfortable. Don't go for any linings that, is, that are made out of synthetic fibers. And then last thing, what are the fabrics you need to avoid? I've already touched on them when talking about the linings and that is probably going to be synthetics full stop. In my opinion, I won't wear any synthetics during the summer season. Um, think underwear even, the linings that we just spoke about, tops, pants, anything, shorts. Only exception um, that some people experience, not me, is when you have a very high quality synthetic fabric from a performance brand. They might have developed a very high quality polyester or nylon, usually nylon, um, that is made to exercise in, in the heat. Um, I'm thinking of a brand such as Lululemon. They might have a higher quality synthetic um, in comparison to probably the majority of other brands. But again, 
If you stick to the fabrics I've mentioned in the very first part of this video, you will be light and breezy and comfortable throughout the summer season. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Have a good one. Bye.